Hey Commissions, welcome back to our channel. At its core, the Power Rangers franchise is a collection of children's programming. People outside of that children's demographic still enjoy it and that is perfectly fine, but the original intent behind the show within its initial creation was for it to be marketed towards children. With that said, there are some surprisingly dark moments throughout the show. Namely, when it comes to characters actually dying. Maybe it's done to appeal to that outside children's demo that snuck its way into the fandom or maybe the producers just want to traumatize children, but when death hits the series, it hits in big, unforgettable ways. Mike Corbett. When Power Rangers Lost Galaxy first kicked off, it looked like Mike was in line to become the next Red Ranger. After all, he had the natural qualities of a responsible, courageous leader and even pulled out the Red Ranger's Khazar Saber as a proverbial chosen one. However, in Furio's attempt to steal the sabers for himself, it created a rift in the planet that Mike fell down, forcing him to pass the saber onto his less experienced and reckless brother, Leo. Mike fell to his death with the spirit of the Magna Defender using Mike's body as a vessel. Magna Defender. After watching his son be killed in front of him in their homeworld, the once noble and moral warrior becomes bloodthirsty for vengeance against Scorpius. His questionable tactics quickly put him in conflict with the Rangers, despite both sides going after the same villain. He nearly crosses the line when he attempts to destroy Terra Venture just to get rid of Scorpius, but he becomes mortally wounded in the process. After seeing a vision of his son, the Defender realizes the error of his ways and uses the last of his energy to bring back to life his host's body, to whom he passes on the Magna Defender suit and powers. Billy. The very idea of a Hollywood Power Rangers revival received criticism before filming even began, but even the most diehard and long-time fans must admit that they got a little teary-eyed when Billy the nicest, most kinhearted of the bunch, gets killed in cold blood by Rita Repulsa. The Rangers certainly did as they carried Billy's corpse to Zordon, hoping for a miracle. Thankfully, at the cost of ever restoring his physical body again, Zordon offers a miracle in the form of enough energy to bring Billy back to life. Alex Drake. A strong argument can be made for Alex's death to be the most shocking in the history of Power Rangers, if only because the season begins with Rancic killing him off after he had already been established as the Red Ranger and leader of the cast. It's essentially a children's show equivalent to Ned Stark's death in the first season of Game of Thrones. Granted, he returns, but different. It's not the same Alex who died in Time Force's first episode but, rather, an alternate timeline Alex is a result of the Rangers changing the course of history. Tommy Oliver. As if the Alex situation did not sound confusing enough, look no further than the Power Rangers Shattered Dimensions comic book miniseries. In it, an alternate universe's Tommy hops from universe to universe killing off rangers and stealing their morphers. He decides to hop through another universe to see a version of himself that most fans are familiar with. This Tommy had just wrapped up an awkward first date with Kimberly when Lord Draken suddenly shows up to literally stab himself in the back. Although, like with Alex, the timeline had become warped enough to undo Tommy's death and allow him to return later to take Draken down. Officer Tate. Long before Alex wore that Red Ranger suit, there was Officer Tate, Sky's father in Power Rangers SPD. When Sky's backstory is established and it's shown why he was always obsessed with wanting to be the Red Ranger in the first place, it is revealed that his father was such a ranger. When Sky was a child, his father was called into battle like any other day. That would be the last time that Sky would see his dad as he would be killed in the line of duty by Murloc, who Sky had to defeat himself years after the fact. Mac Hartford. One of the more memorable sacrifices came from Operation Overdrive's Mac Hartford. Even before Mac's death, there was the shocking revelation that he had been an android the whole time. In the final episode, the Red Ranger uses the latest of his power source to destroy Flurius once and for all, but in doing so, it drains him completely without any way to repair his systems. He's as good as dead until the Sentinel Knight uses the power of Corona Aurora to not only revive Mac but allow him to be reborn as a real boy. Kendricks. While maybe not the most impactful of the series, Kendricks's death, even though she is later revived by season's end, was a big deal both in giving the franchise its first major ranger death, happening during a two-part crossover with the in-space team and implications that force a new pink ranger to take her place. After defeating the Psycho Rangers for good in the previous episode, the power of Pink, 
reveals Psycho Pink survived and creates a storm of energy ready to wipe out Terra Venture. Kendrix dives in to stop it, at the cost of her life. Zordon. It cannot be disputed that Zordon's death in the Power Rangers franchise left the biggest impact on the series moving forward. It is a death that effectively ended the Zordon era, had repercussions that were still felt several seasons later, and in the context of In Space, saved the world. The season began with the evildoers kidnapping Zordon and it ended with the mentor pleading with Andros to kill him so that his energy waves could cleanse the universe of evil. The Red Ranger did just that, and the remnants of Zordon's energy either converted villains into good guys or wiped out evil entirely. The 1969 Power Rangers Squad Although the original Mighty Morphin team was the first team established in the franchise, the Boom Studios comic book series makes it clear that they were Rangers before them. Specifically, in the year 1969 when Zordon called on five teenagers with attitude to stop the Psycho Green Ranger from releasing Rita Repulsa from her dumpster on the day of the moon landing. Psycho Green is stopped, but only two Rangers survive the encounter Terona Washington, Yellow Ranger, and Grace Sterling, Red Ranger. Zordon forces them to hand their morphers in, but Grace and Terona later founded their own world-saving unit, called Promethea. So that was a list. Did you enjoyed this video? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to hit like and share button and smash the subscribe button with the bell icon. Don't forget to catch me on other social media for early superhero updates. I will see you guys in the next video till then remember one thing. You are the commissions.